everybody. Kim Becker here with Chad Jensen, publisher of Mile High Huddle SI. Chad, let's talk about this game week one. The Denver Broncos are headed into Monday night against the Tennessee Titans. But we do have an injury report that we're looking at. We've got Von Miller out for sure and perhaps another starter. Let's start with Von Miller, though. How do you think these Broncos are going to compensate for his loss? I think initially it's going to be kind of the it takes a village type of mindset because Bradley Chubb, he's working back from a knee injury ACL tear that he suffered last year. And then he had a little bit of a setback two weeks ago. The good news is he practiced in full the last two days and is expected to not only start, but play quite a bit. So between him, Malik Reed, Jeremiah Attachu, those three edge defenders, I think the Broncos are going to find that there are more than one ways to skin a cat. Awesome. And then what about Cortland Sutton here? If he doesn't play on Monday night, how do you think that's going to affect Drew Locke and his offense? That to me is more the million dollar question this week because anyone who's watched any of, of Broncos training camp and their stadium scrimmages thus far, Sutton has really been the target hog. It has really been Drew Locke's security blanket. So if he is unable to go, and I think there's a solid chance he'll still play Sutton, but if he doesn't go, it's, hey, Jerry Judy, rookie first round pick from Alabama, step on up. It is go time. The lights go on and, you know, jump in with both feet. So Drew Locke, it's, it's going to put a little bit more pressure on him. But I do think that because they invested so heavily in the wide receivers in the draft, K.J. Hamler, the rookie second rounder, is 50-50. He might play. But even if he doesn't, between Jerry Judy, between Noah Fant, between Deshaun Hamilton, Tim Patrick, I think Drew Locke is still going to be loaded for bear on this hunt. Awesome. Well, it might be fun to see Jerry Judy out there. Who knows? And then let's see about these fans, though. These Broncos fans. Do you think that we should be worried about Mark Barron? Because he's got a hamstring injury also out right now. He just recently signed with this team. What do you think that we should be thinking about him? You know, it's kind of a bummer a little bit because the Broncos signed him just basically two weeks ago. Vic Fangio said on Saturday, just two days before the game is scheduled to kick off, that he's probably not going to play. So he had a Pretty extreme hamstring injury, and uh, it might take this week. Hopefully, they'll have him back next week. So what that means, though, for the Broncos is that Josie Jewell and Alexander Johnson, they're going to be relied upon completely to be those coverage backers and the dime backers. And hopefully, Vic Fangio and defensive coordinator Ed Donatel, they can come up with some X's and O's ways to kind of shield those guys, take some of the pressure off them, because neither Jewell nor Johnson are known for being coverage linebackers as great as they are against the run coverage is going to be a concern and something the Titans are surely going to try and test. Well, we've got a lot to look at at this game on Monday night. Thanks so much, Chad. I'm Kim Becker here at Mile High Huddle SI. Thanks for the insight. Thank you.